he knew the little shop well. The bakery at the end of the street. The street was a poor one, and the bakery struggled to keep its doors open. But for many years, he had been a visitor there. Their cakes were always stale, and the tea was always cold. And yet every day he would visit, for there he would find her. The pale, thin maiden, with eyes that sparkled like precious jewels. Her frail appearance did not take away from her loveliness. Quietly, she would sit at the corner table, a teacup clutched between her dainty little hands. She was the picture of grace, and he adored her. But the timid soul she was, she never answered as he would bid her good morning. She would lift her glistening eyes to meet his, and her pale lips would part a smile. For years, every day he looked forward to meeting her there. But one day, upon entering the bakery on a rainy morning, he found her seat to be empty, and the girl nowhere to be seen. He asked the bakery owner if the maiden had already come and gone, but he stated that she had not visited the shop that day. Distraught over the absence of his silent friend, he left the bakery without another thought. But not far up the road from the bakery, he saw a ghastly sight. An overturned carriage on the side of the street, and beneath the carriage, only barely visible, he could see the dainty hands that held the fragile teacup day after day. He pulled her body out from beneath the wreck, finding that he had been much too late. Her sparkling eyes had closed for good. Without the business of the man or the maiden, the bakery was unable to stay open. But the man had loved the place so dearly that he purchased the little shop for his own. And every morning, from that day on, he would sit at a dusty table, sipping at his cup of tea, and far across the bakery, at the table in the corner, a teacup rested on the tabletop, filled to the brim, and around the little teacup, two dainty little hands.